So, we, you know, we all heard what happened. Chanks yeah, so. Chanks to the shame, man. I mean, you know, I never had a problem with that guy. Uh, I know he's one of the Coke boys. He used to come around the clubs all the time. Never had a problem with him. It's a shame. Shame what happened to him. Kind of sad for the hip hop world, you know? Because mm. it's a murder of another rapper. And is it, you know, it's like unnecessary violence, you know? Right. So, what can you tell us? I know it just happened a couple hours ago, so like. Well, I can only tell you what I heard, basically, that uh, he was coming out of a, a club, maybe a lounge or something, and, uh, you know, some guys rolled up on him in his car, and they fired several shots at him and uh, his passenger who was in the car, a friend of his. And uh, the end result was that uh, he got shot and he was, uh, he was shot dead, but his, his, um, the guy who was in the car with him survived. Uh, supposedly he's in the hospital in the critical. Mm -hmm. you know? I heard they were following him. That's what I heard too. I heard that whoever did this to him, I guess he had some beef with somebody and uh, somebody probably knew where he was or wanted to get at him and they, and they knew where he was to get him. Mm. Initially, I thought it was uh, people thought it was like a robbery. Someone tried to rob his car, but it was just like a drive-by. I heard. Yeah, somebody said it was a robbery, but I don't believe that's true. I think that was just reports that somebody had heard. But the police are working on it, and I'm sure they'll, they'll try to have as much information they can get, you know, before tomorrow. Because mm. when a homicide like this happens, the police are all over it. So, especially when it's going to be uh, media and newsworthy, mm -hmm. the police are going to be on, on top of it. You know. So you got shot like outside like a Dunkin' Donuts or something. Seems like the crime scene is like on a corner of a Dunkin' Donuts and across like a this is like a deli. It's near the courthouse. It's it's uh, near the Queen's Courthouse where he got shot at. So oh. um, I'm sure you know they're gonna want to know what club he was in, where he was at, and you know the police are gonna find out what kind of beef he had, who he had a beef with, you know. Mm. And uh, that area is a very nice area, so I know the people in that neighborhood are gonna be very upset that a shooting went down in their neighborhood. I'm pretty sure they're gonna check the cameras though, right? Yeah, there's cameras all over the place over there, so they're definitely gonna check cameras. Right. This is not a case where it's gonna be like, where it's gonna be like, we're gonna have to wait a year, like this is gonna like, you know what I mean? I mean, you never know in cases like this because the police have to go and do their investigation and they have to find out what's up, see if they can find witnesses and people that might've saw what happened, but anything like this is gonna take time. It's not gonna happen right away. So, you know, it all depends how the case goes, you know, it all depends on the police, what kind of evidence they get and what information they get. And the DA's office can, uh, you know, proceed with a, um, an arrest and then later on a prosecution, you know? Mm -hmm. So what police are worried about right now is uh, retaliation, right? Well, that's always a worry. There's always a re worry about retaliation in cases like this. Because in the hip-hop community sometimes, you know, when you kill somebody that's a rapper and there's some beef, there's always going to be payback. Mm. You know, and that's always a big thing, revenge. You right, know, right. so somebody's going to get back at this uh, person, whoever shot this rapper, because Chinks was a, a popular guy. I mean, he was out here. So I'm sure there's a lot of people that are upset. Mm. You know? So then it's, what happened was that he was leaving the club and then just... Do you know? He was, it was what I heard, he was leaving the club in his car driving, and uh, like I said earlier, somebody pulled up next to him and, and fired shots from another vehicle. And, you know, shot him, he was killed, and his, the guy who was in the car with him, his passenger, was uh, injured critically. Hmm. So I saw from the um, pictures of the car, they sprayed that, they sprayed that car up. Like, they wanted to kill him a few, a few times. Like, well, it looks like he was the intended target. It's crazy. Look at this nigga shit. They did this nigga shit dirty. Like, you see where the shots is at? It's like, right, like, you basically shoot him in his face. You know, they shot him over there, bro. Oh, it came from this way? Yeah. Damn. From the shots that were fired at the car, like somebody was out to get him. Hmm. Yeah. You have no idea what, what kind of gun it was? No, nah, there's early reports on that. They don't have that. I'm pretty sure the police know, but right now they're working on it. They don't want to release too much information to people right now. They want to just, you know, do their job and, and go out here and try to find out who did this and why. Right. You know, before it gets to be bad, you know, because I'm sure that in the streets it's going to get bad. So. Mm. They need to try to get as much as they can on this quickly before it, it uh, escalates. escalates out of control. Mm. So the dude in the car, I'm pretty sure, like, he had to see something. If he doesn't come forward and says, says nothing, then either, either there's two things. He's afraid or, you know what I mean, they're going to retaliate somehow. Well, That's how if, I feel. If, he doesn't, if the passenger doesn't come forward and speaks, I mean, 
like you said, these guys have this coded street where there's no snitching, you know? Right. But in my opinion, this is something where you speak out, man. You know, your friend got shot, you know? So I don't think you uh, you stay quiet on this. This is something that needs to be talked about and told so that um, the people can, you know, everybody can be at ease, especially the streets, because, you know, stuff in the streets is very serious out here, you know, with certain people. Mm. So you got to be very careful. Definitely. So, you know, I want to see my tax dollars at work. You tell your buddies over there to, uh, to get off the donuts and, you know, get this thing going. No, no, the, <laughs> police, the police are on it. They're, they're, they're on it. They have good good detectives. New York City has some of the best detectives in the world. So they'll go out here and they'll find out as much as they can find out what happened and try to get to the bottom of it and then try to solve it, you know, because it needs to be solved. It needs to be, like I said earlier, it needs to be put to bed quickly if it can before it escalates into something else. Hmm. Do you know anything about uh, someone tweeted out he shot they shot Chinks or Instagram they shot Chinks? Supposedly somebody put out on Instagram or, or was a tweet that uh, they were the one that shot him. They were going to get him, something like that. I mean, you know, several people called up and we were talking about it today. So, you know, I don't know if that that site or the Instagram page is, is uh, a fake page or it comes back to anybody. But I'm sure, you know, whoever put it up, maybe it's just somebody bragging. Right. You know, I don't think it might have been the guy who did it, but somebody probably bragging about it. But nevertheless, the police are going to look into it, you know, but that's what I heard. It's like, who the it's, fuck it's, would something, do that? it's something you got to look into, but you know, this is what people do. They, they sometimes, some of these guys in the street, they go on uh, Instagram and Twitter and say, yeah, you know, look at what I did, mm. which is dumb. But like I said, it might not be a real person. It might have been something else. They have to look into it and see if it's a real Twitter or who it comes back to, you know? But it, it's a shame even to say that, even to take another one's life. Right. It's a shame, man. The guy's a young man. He has a son, I think. You know, he leaves his son with no father. You know, that's a shame. Really. Right. Cousin. <laughs> she got a sister or a friend? She's really a Kardashian. That's a cousin. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you bought that shit for a second. <laughs> for a yeah, second. I know. Man. Couple bottles got a couple switches. Couple bands got a couple bitches. Got the whole block sewn up. Ask them who it is. They gon' say a couple niggas. Tell my niggas, grab a couple niggas. Honey deep inside the club. Now them niggas got a problem with a couple niggas. Keep the burner on me for a couple niggas. Only reason I don't fuck with niggas, cause I made it.